This is my vintage Sansui receiver. It's from the mid to early 70s and uh, it's in great condition, sounds fantastic, but I am experiencing a little problem with it. The problem that I'm experiencing is a noisy volume control. And I was, before I knew better, I thought that was a serious problem that was expensive to fix, perhaps needing a whole new volume control, that kind of thing. So I often would just um, sell them or buy something new. And now seasoned veterans are very familiar with this kind of thing. And this little uh, part here, you're not going to learn a whole lot because you already know this. But for any kind of, uh, you know, novices or somebody who doesn't, um, who's never experienced this kind of problem before, it's a very easy fix, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Obviously, you unplug the unit first, and then you bring it to a nice flat surface that's well lit. I'm not going to be able to access the volume uh, knob here from the top, so I'm going to have to get to the underside and remove the plate. From my experience, really the only tool you're going to need is a medium to small Phillips head screwdriver. Alright, it's pretty dusty under here, so I'm going to wipe that off as well while I'm inside. But uh, that came off pretty easily, the feet. Are still attached so that's good there is the volume control right there behind that capacitor there so I need to get to that so I'm gonna have to uh, figure something out I really don't I really don't want to remove that circuit board I know that's what a qualified technician might do but that's not something I'm going to tackle so I'm going to try to get in there um, and get, get over this little obstacle that's in my way. This is a product called Deoxit. It's made by a company called Keg, and they make a whole um, line of products for uh, cleaning electronics. There's a guy on, on uh, YouTube, and he has a channel called Blue Glow Electronics. He actually has a whole video explaining all the different uh, products made by this company. This, this is a lifesaver. It saved me lots of time and money, and it's made a, a piece of equipment that was vir virtually non-functioning into working again, almost like new. Sometimes it's just dirt or oxidization that's interfering with the performance or the functions of your electronic equipment. So definitely $15 for a can like this has a nice long nozzle so you can get right in there. So this is what we're going to try to do. I'm going to give this volume uh, knob um, a treatment. So I poked around inside the receiver with it lying on that, that side for a few minutes and I was getting very frustrated because I was having difficulty finding the right angle and getting the nozzle into the right position to spray the uh, deoxid. And then I decided, let me just flip it over and let's try it from the other direction. And, and that was the right decision. Actually, I think the volume control, maybe it's easier to access <laughs> holding it this way. Look at that. It's right there. All right. I should have done it from this direction in the first place. So I have to go in here with my left hand and uh, get to the volume part with the uh, deoxid. So you should position the nozzle so it gets down near those gaps and holes and slots. And you spray the deoxid so it can get down inside the mechanism and clean and lubricate the moving parts. Okay, I gave it a good spray. It's good spraying. This is a combination volume and balance control actually. I'm going to turn these back and forth like a hundred times. Make sure it's getting that deoxid is really getting spread around evenly and maybe doing some serious cleaning. Let me turn the balance knob too bounce ring okay I've got the 
receiver hooked up again to the speakers and plugged in, powered on. And I'm going to do this live. I haven't checked it ahead of time to see if uh, my little uh, deoxid treatment worked. So I'm going to put my microphone over by the speaker and see what happens when I, when I turn the volume back up and down. And I'm going to turn up and down the volume, see what happens. I would say that it's 90% done, gone. I hear a slight, I hear a tiny bit on this speaker, very little. Probably could use a little bit more of a treatment, but that's way better. The Oxit works. Spend $15, buy a can. If you ever have noisy controls, especially volume controls, that make a staticky noise when you turn it up and down. This, this deoxid will fix that 99% of the time, unless your stuff is actually faulty. Once again, if you enjoy my videos and would like to catch each one, please subscribe. Hey, click the little bell to receive an alert each time I post a new one. And I like reading your comments, and I make the effort to reply to each one. So, thanks again from me.